Hey guys, good morning from Penne, Rino from West of Abruzzo. Today we have a brilliant house, I will say. Uh, it's in a great location near the city center of Penne. And uh, I'm against the sun. Yeah, now you can see me better. Uh, you have your private space for the car, you have your garden, it's huge, you have your tavern. Honestly, uh, just uh, take a, a quick tour of it. It's uh, really, really good. And uh, yeah, uh, let's see uh, how it is. But before we go, just a few words about Penn if you're new to the channel. By the way, if you're new, please like and subscribe the video to help us grow. And uh, so Penne, uh, around 10,000 people living here. Uh, you have all the services, a small hospital, all the shops, local shops, uh, an amazing town center, old one. It's uh, really characteristic and uh, you are close also to Gran Sasso. Really cool. Uh, lots of local products, uh, very important. So like the Pecorino Farindola, which is a typical cheese here and a uh, lot of tradition. Uh, Google it and uh, by the way, also feel free to download the ebook, the free book on the link in the description, which uh, I speak more about pen in there. Uh, let's go for the tour. Okay, starting on the outside, guys, this is the house. As you can see, pretty good condition. I'm not saying there's no work to be done, but good condition. Uh, you have this driveway where my car is. And uh, yeah, you access from there. Uh, we will go after. And uh, you have this uh, lovely garden that goes around the house. We can go you know with your car here and this is with, where the entrance of your garage will be if you decide to have a garage here it's pretty large inside so uh, we will go later uh, so you can have the car plus other things there it's pretty huge and uh, the garden all things considered considering that uh, no one has lived here recently it's pretty good shape some our olive trees not enough to have your oil but good enough to have uh, your uh, garden decorated it's, uh, well preserved some fruit trees there which I'm not sure what they are yeah, we can circle back here. Do you know what tree this is? Let me know in the comments if you do. Oh. Here we have the access to the tavern, which we will go after. <coughs> and basically we are circling back the, the house. To show you ideas the tiny little door uh, you can access uh, the stairs these stairs that we will actually bring you inside like a secondary door uh, interesting that they decided to put windows there it's not totally common but probably the right decision uh, to shield you from the cold in the winter and uh, you can access your uh, tavern freely on that door uh, there's a dog here and yeah additional olive trees it's a really cool Cool outside space, really great, I like it a lot. And uh, yeah, now we can go inside from here. Let's go climb the stairs. Let's go in. Actually, guys, before we go in, I'm not the only bit I'm not so sure of is this one. 
right okay you might decide to to have windows here but yeah with the mighty grand Tesla there why have it like this that shield the view hmm no 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 I think you have to remove those ASAP when you buy it but as I said from there I was just cool really cool look at the space guys you are not having this large space anymore on the inside of the houses uh, I don't know here you can have a mighty entrance you can have some cabinets or some nice paintings uh, it's really amazing and I kind of like those styles man look at the size of those rooms with this like marble floors of course uh, the wallpaper yeah needs to go uh, but uh, that's about the only thing I will change that and the the windows outside look at this space it's, I don't know maybe it seems huge because there are no uh, no furniture I don't think so I think it's large uh, those windows are those are um, old ones so it's they're in good condition actually as you can probably tell look so yeah they they've taken good care of them uh, maybe need to uh, check if you're planning to live here on the winter uh, you might want to check the uh, if are double glazed uh, they are not I think as I touched it so maybe you need to replace those but you have tax uh, relief on those like basically you you get 50% back over 10 years uh, I actually did a video recently on some video we'll leave the link in the description to know more about this works uh, construction works and taxes relief that you have in Italy so feel free to check it out and uh, I like the tiles on this bathroom it's uh, really cool really cool tiles rectangular shape here we have another huge room so, so really nice rooms with uh, this floor tiles which are really nice and uh, considering it's not a modern house I mean modern it's not even old but uh, definitely uh, when I say modern it's not like 10 years ago you know it's uh, probably uh, from the 80s it's really in excellent shape you got to love the logical thinking of uh, the planning back in the days like no corners no triangular shapes just logic layout this bathroom is super nice with the, this blue tiles this is a new, uh, how do you say, piatto doccia, anyway, new shower, I think they remodeled it recently, so nothing to do here. Yeah, they're neighbors. And uh, yeah, there's still plenty to see, so let's go little bit quick uh, here this is what can be uh, dining room because the living room I think it will be on the other side uh, nice fireplace always an added value to have a fireplace in the house yes you can cook on it or use it for its purpose to warm you up 
kitchen is still here uh, honestly not so much to say about it I had the same ceiling light uh, at my uncle's place weird uh, if you don't don't have any particular request about the kitchen this can just stay as it is uh, I will say nothing <laughs> doesn't need to be replaced here you have a beautiful balcony uh, which you can access from here let's see yeah love the views love the views and guys downstairs we have a couple of surprises so let's go so as i was mentioning earlier uh, they decided to cover this so you are shielded from any wind as you reach the cellar and uh, they found a way to have a tiny little door here to access the outside you know so you can enter let's close it so you can enter from outside exit from here and uh, yeah you have the cellar space here nice 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 love the extra space i think here they even had the kitchen yeah probably yes because those styles are normally used in kitchens and uh, here you have this nice little area little it's everything but little hmm. interesting do it do it yourself guys will uh, appreciate this old work tools and, uh, this is a pretty huge space i think before it was used as a storage uh, for boot uh, very important because i will show you in a bit why here it's a bit dark but you have uh, just uh, extra space or storage here you have a nice bathroom uh, nice i mean useful useful bathroom as you're doing your works here and you have to go you can go okay and uh, this door basically is what i was saying earlier if you want to park your car by all means park it here and uh, as you want lack space it's a huge huge space downstairs with the wood oven huge space with the wood oven you always love to have a wood oven cook, oven. cook pizza here uh, maybe have a dining uh, table here just leave it open and enjoy the space outside or yeah you can exit here where, uh, where we were before you know it's uh, the side of the house with the olive trees uh, Yes, I think this is honestly super interesting house. You also have this one to open the door. Hmm. I wonder what was the original purpose of this space. Uh, I was saying, I think it's a super cool place, uh, but uh, let me know what you think. And in the comments, let me know what you would do with this place. And if you want to uh, more information about it, of course, feel free to email myself and I will direct the questions to Anna. Thank you for watching guys. See you next time.